Good morning, my friends. It is me, Militant Ginger. It is Friday the 26th of May 2017, and I'm back here again. I know it's been a long time since my last video, um, but today is Friday, today is weigh-in day, and I haven't done weigh-ins for a number of weeks now because, uh, well, I haven't been losing any weight, but that is spoiler alert because that's probably going to tell you how my weigh-in went today, but Yes, I weighed myself in today. Last time I weighed myself, you'll remember, I was 173.9 pounds. And that, I thought, was like a little artificially low because I'd just come off a bender with some friends. And today, I stepped on the scales and I was... 172.6 pounds. Boom! 1.3 pounds lost. Uh, also, check out my body fat percentage. Um, I think it was 20... Point three last time today it is 20.2 down a little bit and also check out my uh, my muscle mass last time it was 41 41.1 I think and now it is 41.6 <gasps> Wow so uh, what happened how come I suddenly got back on track well I'll tell you it was quite a journey um, Last time we spoke, I had come up with this grand idea that I was going to be vegan. And I spent a week uh, eating vegan food, and I did my little videos, and I showed you my yummy dishes and stuff like that, and completely failed. I ended up putting on two pounds, so I'd been 173, and then I went up to 175. And uh, it just, and I didn't feel right, I have to admit. I was really hungry throughout the day, um, and the food, you know, it was fine, but it wasn't satisfying, it wasn't... So, um, I then fell off the wagon a bit and just went back to my normal thing of, of eating crap. Um, but I was having a chat with my buddy Josh. Uh, Josh is this awesome dude who lives in Colorado. Uh, he used to be big, like big. Um, and he got into to eating uh, the ketogenic diet, which is where you basically have zero carbs and you retrain your body to, uh, to consume nothing but fat. Um, and that's pretty hardcore. That's sort of more hardcore than, than I think I would uh, anticipate going. But one thing we were talking about is just looking at my diet. Um, I ate a lot of carbs on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and they pretty much all came from beer. Because to be honest, I don't have a sweet tooth. I don't crave carbs. I like, I like meat. Um, and uh, I was thinking, you know, if I just gave up beer, I'd pretty much have a low-carb diet. Um, and the thing is, you know, I like I like my drinks, not going to lie, but if I just switched out the beer for wine, I would cut out my carbohydrates by like 80%. And so I gave it a try uh, at the beginning of this week, and boom, here are the results. Now, why did that happen? Um, I'll tell you why. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of uh, studying into biology and stuff. So, as you know, your body um, runs off glucose, which comes from carbs, and um, that uh, you eat your carbs and it breaks them down into glucose, which is a type of sugar, and that swims around in your blood and, and energizes you, and anything left over um, gets stored in your liver and your muscles. And there's a hormone called glycogen, uh, which is responsible for storing, uh, which does this storing thing. What it does is it gets one gram of, uh, of glucose, and it connects it to three grams of water and then it sticks it down in your liver. So that means every carb that you store, you store uh, three times more in water as well. And I think that's what happened with the whole vegan thing because I was eating very low protein, very high carb because obviously everything's plant-based and plants are uh, basically carbohydrates. And I think I just like blew up because I was storing all those carbs and storing them with water. So this week when I went super low carb, um, I wasn't storing all those carbs. And so I think this, this weight loss that I've experienced, mostly it's just water weight, but I'm definitely a lot leaner as well. In fact, this green shirt, uh, I, I used to have a, I used to have like this, this thing of always buying shirts that were too small for me because I wanted a tight shirt and I wasn't quite willing to accept the fact that I was a fat chubber. I can wear this shirt now without the buttons popping open like Tom Kitten, so. Um, by low carb, what do I mean? Okay, well, basically, I've given up bread and pasta um, and potato chips and potatoes and cookies and all that crap. And to be honest, that wasn't a huge deal. Um, uh, and I've given up beer. Beer is kind of a big deal because I love beer. Oh. 
Um, it was interesting. So I started that off and I've been continuing with the intermittent fasting with it. And um, my first day, uh, my buddy Brandon came around and I cooked for him and my wife and I made uh, was a delicious steak and asparagus, all big T-bone steaks actually like splashed out. Asparagus, Caesar salad, it was really, really, really yummy. And I noticed that evening I started to get a headache and the next day I felt like death all day i had this pounding headache i couldn't focus on anything i just felt awful and um i know that when you start the ketogenic diet which is like super hardcore low carbs uh you experience this thing called keto flu which is where your body's like uh your body's basically like weaning itself off the carbohydrates and it and it's really struggling is your brain uh consumes glucose and you have to like rewire your body chemistry for it to, to uh, use fat as a form of, uh, of uh, fuel rather than than glucose um, and it was weird though because first of all I hadn't gone especially low carb I worked it out that I'd eaten 43 carbs uh, which you know is low but that's not low enough to throw you into ketosis and also most most of the time people say it takes like minimum of three days before you go into ketosis what that doesn't account for though is intermittent fasting because by intermittent fasting you're in a fasted state so already my body has like um, gone through all of the car uh, the, the glucose in my bloodstream and is eating into the glucose that's in my liver and of course there's no extra glucose to fill it up with when I eat so I think I went into like an early form of ketosis uh, which is when your body starts to, to um, use fat as a primary fuel source rather than glucose and that's why I felt so shitty um, and I went home that night and uh, I ate a ton of food and it was really weird because I was sitting there and normally when you, I've complained about this before one of the reasons that the, the intermittent fasting stall is because I'd come home I'd be hungry and I'd just like grab fistfuls of potato chips and chow down on it and instead I was trying to do uh, zero carb stuff so I had pork rinds and cheese and beef jerky um, and it wasn't quite satisfying. I mean, literally, I looked at these packets, little packets of rice crackers that my wife has, and my mouth was watering, and I was like, <laughs> and then I looked at the big chunks of cheddar cheese that I cut that was my approved snack, and I was just like, I don't think I could eat that. But I did. Um, and I have to admit, after we, after I'd uh, like eaten some food, and had a couple of glasses of wine, which is low carb, but not super low carb. And then we had a, a big meal, more steak um, and Caesar salad and stuff. And I started to feel a lot better. And the next day I just felt great. Um, so it was interesting. It was a really rocky start with going super low carb, but the next day I felt great and I felt super lean. Um, and I, it, it carried on feeling great. And in the evening we had, what was it, mustard chicken I cooked. Again with Caesar salad. I've got to start making different types of salad. Um, and oh, I, there was this, instead of using rice, I had like diced up cauliflower and broccoli. And I mixed it with some parmesan cheese. It was so good. Um, but I, I have noticed in the evenings that I kind of get a bit of a headache. But for the most part in the day, um, I feel fine. And actually I feel better than fine. I feel better than I did eating vegan because um, I don't know I'm just more satiated I guess you could say like you know um, I eat until I can't eat anymore I mean the interesting thing is I, I make a plate of food and I can barely finish it um, and the next day I just I just feel good I've been powering through I haven't had any issues with hunger so there we go um, and that leads us to today when I uh, weigh myself and I am down 1.3 pounds from my lowest and this is great, I'm gonna keep marching ahead. I, I think this is gonna make all the difference, to be honest. So now I'm focused on continuing to, to like eat this low carb, uh, low carb menu and um, get back to the gym, that's the important thing. It's been tough, because my wife's been working nights um, and it, sometimes I haven't been motivated to go to the gym, but I really need to do that, because this is, you know, pairing intermittent fasting with a high protein, low carb uh, meal plan and then hitting the gym as well, that's gonna make all the difference um, and it's interesting I mean I looked at myself in the mirror today and I'm still like kind of pale and podgy um, but I, I've experienced that thing again where you know back when I was at my fattest I was kind of like moody and then when you start losing weight all the, the the fat that's there kind of gets like squishy and doughy it's kind of gross but I think that means it's working for me I don't know 
Uh, I, I feel good, I'm excited. The next milestone I wanna make is being under 170 pounds. That's gonna be a big deal. Uh, and under 20% body fat. So when I'm, my body fat's in the teens, I think it's like choo choo on the way to six pack town. I don't know if I'll ever get a six pack. Uh, it'd be nice to for once in my life. Just uh, just see what I can do. And um, I don't know, uh, my YouTube buddy, Pretty Ugly Beautiful, uh, she is going to try and enter a bikini competition, which I think is freaking amazing. Good for her. Uh, and if she can do that, then maybe I can maybe I can get a six pack. I don't know. I'd rather drink a six pack than have a six pack. But we all need a hobby, and you know, eating right uh, is a much better hobby than all of the dodgy hobbies I could have. Right, I've been rabbiting for eleven minutes now. I'm sorry, guys. This is a long video. Um, but thank you very much for paying attention. I will catch up with you soon. Ciao.